and here to perform our national anthem from the band Vintage Daisies and vocalist at the School of Rock in Austin. Please welcome Ariel Herrera and Peyton Keller. Here we go, one lap to go. I'm gonna take the green flag at Texas Motor Speedway. What's cool about this place is these guys absolutely run wide open. They barely let off the gas at all. Uh, the trucks are a little bit down on horsepower compared to the cup cars. Uh, so when they uh, when they get into the corner, they just don't have to lift unless the handling uh, on the truck just isn't right. But uh, here for the first at least two or three laps, they'll be absolutely wide open uh, going down the back stretch. They'll be just a little bit north of 190 miles an hour when they get right there into the entrance of turn three. There's a lot of rookies and young drivers in this field, so uh, it's very likely that there could be a lot of torn up sheet metal at this place. But Texas Motor Speedway is known for some absolutely uh, outstanding uh, races, uh, especially for the truck series at night, because these guys are all about half crazy. Anyway, so uh, this is it. They're coming for the green flag. They'll come out of turn four, get right up here, right about here, and they're going to turn it loose, and it's going to be awesome. Get the 12th position, and there are plenty of other drivers that would like to disrupt any type of championship success here tonight. It's next to last race of the season. Field comes off turn number four.
Texas Motor Speedway has the uh, coolest caution lights on the entire NASCAR circuit. They've got these flashing LEDs on the poles of the catch fins. Uh, they're just really cool to look at. These are uh, caution flag pit stops happening about midway through the race. Uh, usually takes these guys about 15 seconds to change four tires and uh, fill the tank up with fuel, make any necessary adjustments to the chassis.